Hello UIC fans and welcome to the Flames Weekly Update. I'm Sam Paniotovich. The baseball team earned a 5-2 victory at Chicago State Tuesday behind eight strong innings by Connor Ryan. UIC then won its fifth straight Horizon League series over the weekend as the Flames took two of three at Milwaukee. Head coach Mike D became the all-time winningest coach in program history with 510 victories. With a league-best 11-4 record, the Flames are off to their best conference start since the 2008 season. Jeff Bohm drove in nine runs during the week and collected a team-high seven hits. Ian Lewandowski tossed seven scoreless innings Sunday to pick up his fourth win. The Flames will compete in two midweek games this week as they travel to Northern Illinois on Tuesday and host Northwestern on Wednesday. The softball team began the week with a home sweep of Green Bay and a doubleheader on Tuesday. UIC then won two of three games at Valparaiso over the weekend and moved into a tie for second place in the Horizon League standings. Tiana Mac Miller homered twice and drove in eight runs to lead the Flames at the plate. Amanda Menner had nine RBIs and Paige Peterson topped the squad with nine hits. Elaine Heflin collected two complete game victories and two saves in five total appearances in the circle. UIC returns home next weekend to host Youngstown State in a three-game set. The women's tennis team honored senior Keti Mabuke before picking up a 5-2 home win over Oakland on Saturday. The Flames produced the doubles point before taking four singles victories. UIC then dropped a close match on Sunday to Detroit by a 4-3 score for its first conference loss of the season. The Flames swapped doubles play before Mabuke and Jackie Alton Sarnier collected singles wins. UIC is next in action Saturday at Youngstown State. In front of a large crowd on Senior Day, the men's tennis team defeated Detroit at home Saturday by a 4-3 score for its fourth win in five matches. The Flames secured the doubles point before Carl Hedstrom, Mitch Granger, and Maurizio Fioli picked up straight set wins. UIC then fell to Valparaiso by a 5-2 score Sunday afternoon. Hedstrom and Fioli collected their second wins of the weekend in singles play. The Flames return to action Saturday at Youngstown State. The men's gymnastics team brought the season to a close at the NCAA Championships hosted by Oklahoma. Jason Guidis placed in sixth place in the all-around competition, and Brett Vallon collected UIC's top score on horizontal bars. Jacob Thurber came away with a team best score on vault. The track and field teams competed at the Chicagoland Outdoor Championships on the campus of College of DuPage. The men's performance was highlighted by Michael Krupo, who finished second in the decathlon with the fourth most points in UIC history. Kyle Hauser won the 3,000 meter steeplechase, and Rebecca Zader was victorious in the 1,500 meter run. The Flames are back on the track Saturday for the Illinois Twilight in Champaign. The women's golf team placed 10th at Bowling Green's Dolores Black Invitational and improved by 14 shots from last year's event. Kelsey Jensen fired an 82 Sunday and finished in a tie for 42nd. She was second in the entire field with four birdies. UIC begins postseason play in two weeks at the Horizon League Championship in Florida. And finally, middle blocker Stephanie Yancey has been selected by USA Volleyball to participate in the Collegiate National Team program. The team is made up of 36 athletes and will train in New Orleans in late June. The program is considered a second tryout for the United States national team. Stay tuned to UICFlames.com every Monday for the Flames Weekly Update. Make sure to check out the Flames' official Twitter and Facebook pages for all the latest news and results from UIC Athletics. I'm Sam Paniotovich, and as always, go Flames!